Well, I guess there was more context than the title would give it, because if you actually pay attention, it's very obvious I was playing the cast of Bunga Sure Dogs Essence 1, if we ever get that, but... So... Oh shit. And then eventually I got an A badge and lost it the next week because um, because I I actually was doing so well in all of my my matches at that point in time that I was getting increased tier points, but I got paired with some um, teammates that were probably having a bad day because because um, I did not I did not gain character points after that. And after I lost my A badge, I kind of just gave up. I know, God forbid, I'm a Dangarampa fan, kind of. And, um, please ping, please ping if you ever get, uh, matched with a postman, or just me in general. Just ping. Just ping for everyone, actually. Cause I had a- I had a B badge for a week and then I lost it too, cause I just didn't have time to play Hunter rank, and it- it's really stressful to play Hunter rank. Godspeed. Godspeed to Hunter mains who like consistently play hunter rank could not be me. And you may hear a lot of banging and clanging uh, of my phone being picked up and off of my desk. So I apologize for that if that happens. So I do have a lot of favorite characters. I would say Embalmer, Aesop is my favorite character. Uh, just cause I like him, I think he's silly. Um, yeah, I know he's killed people, but like hasn't everyone. I, I love Melly. I mean, it's Melly. What's not to love? Look at her. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that happened. I will say one of my favorite things to do is backwards kite. I say as I immediately mess up a backwards kite. But um, I mean, Spectre just looks nice. Like, look at it. It looks very um smooth. I honestly like most of the characters in this game. I feel like that's an unpopular opinion because like everybody has that one that they just like hate. I don't know how to say it other than that. Like it looks so much smoother than a lot of other Postman A tiers. So maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just weird, but it looks smooth and I like it for that. Uh, I, I think out of his B tiers, Vervain, uh, I hope I'm saying that right, the flower one. Uh, I like that one. I like playing that one, but I am mad they robbed him of his super ugly glasses. <laughs> And that to me is unfortunate because they were so atrocious and I just, I wish he had them. I remember there was this whole scandal when Kony came out that they were like, oh, if you switch your languages, they could, they could ban you. And I was like, eh, I want Kony. But uh, the, the like goth ones, uh, those are some of my favorite skins in the entire game. Yeah, that's how it'd be. That's what Melly's are for helping a little tiny bit. When they released the promo art for those skins, my jaw dropped. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to pay for these now. I have a bit of a spending problem. <laughs> uh, and yes, if you didn't see one of my other videos, I can't recall which one I say it in. Um, I had my microphone turned around the wrong way for almost the entirety of my life, like life using my microphone. I know, well, I know that Priestess getting skins is like a hot take, but not actually, I'm good. I'm good about it, kind of. I'm good about it, I'm moderate. I'm moderate. Um, that's not gonna work the way I wanted it to. I don't think it's like a crazy opinion to like Priestess skins, even if you don't like Priestess or like don't like her getting new skins. I hit my desk with my nail. The, the like, nun one, not to be confused with the enchantress nun one, which I also like. But most of the other crossover ones look nice. Speaking of crossovers, here's a, uh, here's some, here's a crossover skin. What the, um. <laughs> kind of pushing towards me there. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> okay. I was trying to help, all right. I keep wanting to call it Black Butler. That's not what it is. The one with the the guy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for telling me the name. Th there you go. The that's the character, guys, from the anime that I know. De uh, Death Note. Death Note. Yeah. Um. 
So remember back in my first Bunger Shadogs prediction video when I was like, I don't watch anime? There's your proof. But, uh, but okay, anime. Let's talk about anime. That's actually one of my points. It's later on the list, but I got off on the topic of not knowing what Death Note was for a solid minute and a half. Oh, Lady Bella, because who doesn't love Lady Bella? I don't have it, but like, never mind. <laughs> but like, I mean, who doesn't love Lady Bella? So, maybe I should learn. Oh, never mind. I've watched Bunga Shoe Dogs quite a few times. Also, funny little note, I say, I believe it's, it's Bungo Stray Dogs, but I always say Bungo, uh, for some reason. I switch it up a little bit, but just, you guys know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I hope. I, hey, those videos are the ones that get the most views, so I, no one's pointed it out yet. I, so true, bestie, thank you. In other news, oh, anime. I have watched Angels of Death. That's one of the crossovers that we should be getting soon. It's interesting we haven't heard any more about it, but I'm guessing that's probably because Bungo Shadogs has been like the main point of interest lately. Uh, and that'll probably be after that, but at this point we might get that one first. My, po my postman friend, I'll heal you. Oh, never mind. you'll heal yourself, okay. Well, it also, it also comes down to, like, oh, what constitutes as an anime, because, like, I've watched Pokemon, but, like, if I, if I count that as an anime, I'm gonna get bullied off the internet. The Diamond and Pearl was the first one I watched, and I remember a couple episodes in particular because I believe we only had a couple that were, like, like saved, and so I could only watch the same couple, <laughs> uh... But a lot of them hung on like cliffhangers. Like there was one where I think Ash was doing like a gym battle with a corefish or something. Cor corefish? Yeah, that's the Pokemon. And uh, like it ended and it was like, will Ash uh, win the battle? And I like never found out. Postman, no! <laughs> I'm trying my best, I'm trying. And there was another where like the whole forest was on fire and there might have been a Riolu. I, is that the Pokemon? Oh wait, that's not the primed one. Clown behavior. You have to stick out for your buddies. I'm gonna rescue him. He hasn't been in chair yet actually. I'm not gonna rescue him, sorry. <laughs> um, and like, a, like in the forest fire and there was like a Salamence and I, uh, duh. I don't know, I watch Pokemon. <laughs> I should talk about Pokemon. I should just do a whole video playing at any five while I talk about Pokemon. Oh, I should have picked that up. I didn't see what it was. Too late, I'm not going back now. All right, all right, Pokemon speedrun questionnaire. Uh, favorite Pokemon, I have a couple favorite Pokemon. I like Vaporeon, but not in the weird internet way. I just, I was a Eeveelutions kid because of course I was. Like, listen to my voice. I, I don't like when people hear my voice, yet I'm still posting videos, so just listen to my voice and tell me I don't just sound like an evolution kid. <laughs> Darumaka. Yep, Darumaka. And then, maybe this is a hot take, but I actually like some of the Pokemon from Sh Sword and Shield. Uh, specifically Wulu. I know that's basic, but like, look at it's a little round sheep. What's not to love? Oh, and I love Ndidi. I know a lot of people were like, oh, Galarian Audino? Well, you know what? You're right. But I really like Ndidi, okay? People will always be like, oh, you need to check out this anime. And then I'm like, okay, I'll put it on my list. There is no list. There, it doesn't exist. And instead, I only watch the one that's like the plot of Trick or Happy Havoc and, um, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but that, it sucks. It's bad. Play the game. Like, if you have to be a Danganronpa fan, at least play the game. Do not just watch the anime. It's not good. <laughs> you know. Okay, Danganronpa, not important. Uh, I love Soul Silver. When you got to name your rival, um, fun little trivia fact about me, I didn't know, like, all of the characters had, like, actual names, nor was I clever enough to think of something like 
funny to call my rival. So I just like seriously was like, what is the meanest thing? What is the most mean thing I can possibly think of to name this person who I'm not supposed to like? Cause I, young me didn't know rival was like, could be anything, uh, like could be just like a friendly rivalry. I thought you had to like hate each other, right? Oh, I got stuck. Um, all right, let's look back at my list. I've gotten very off topic. Ah, uh, see, that's why you don't look at your list while playing on 95. Point being, I, uh, I named my rival Stinker. All caps, too, because I didn't know you could go lowercase. And, um, that was the meanest thing I could think of at that age. And honestly, it holds up. If I played Soul Silver again, I would definitely still name my rival Stinker. I mean, it's it's too funny not to. Other games I like. Um, I'm gonna make a lot of people really happy and a lot of people unsubscribe for me, but I like Genshin. And it's like, well, cause I, cause then if I, if it does blow up, not that I expect any of my videos to ever blow up, except I do expect when I finally pull for Bunga Stray Dogs, uh, that one will probably get good views. I have favorite animals on here. This is uh, this feels like a like a really prolonged like get to know you icebreaker in like a kindergarten class. Like, all right, what are my favorite colors? What are my favorite animals? Uh, but for the record, I like frogs, and that should tell you everything you need to know about me. What? Ow! That's how it be. All right, well, this is a bad point because I can't remember it, but just think of like an Arctic exploration mechanic skin and it has like a big like puffy hood. Like ice climbers look in, it would have been really good. Oh, the other, other games I play are Nintendo. I play Pokemon. I went on a whole rant about Pokemon and then I forgot about it. I play most of the Pokemon games. It hurts my wrists because the controls are god awful, but it is so worth it. If you have Kid Icarus Uprising and you were like me and you were like, oh, the controls suck and then you never played it, stop that. Go and play it right now. Go get Kid Icarus Uprising, pop it into your little 3DS or whatever, or whatever version of the device you have and play it. Play Kid Icarus Uprising right now. It's a good game. Maybe I should do a Q and A. That'd be fun. But I feel like I've already answered a ton of questions. Very sporadically, mind you but I feel like I've already answered a ton of questions. It's like, what is your, what's your social security number and home address? Oh, well. Oh, I've watched My Hero Academia. How could I forget that? Like I went on a whole thing about anime and I completely forgot that I've watched one of the most basic animes of all time. I don't really have any hot takes about it. It's me, it's, it's mid. It's mediocre. It's okay. The parts of it are really good and parts of it are, are bad. Eh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what is it? What's your credit card number? Yeah, um, not sure I want to answer that one. Oh, it's like not that hard, but it also is. Cause like it's, what? Oh, ah, they double teamed me. That's not fair. I mean, it is fair. I wasn't paying attention. They're killing my bees. Save the bees. How could you? I just realized that I got eliminated really early. <laughs> like it just set. Like it just set in. <laughs> um, I had an idea of making a bingo. Uh, probably around New Year's. I actually did have a bingo. I did make a bingo. Oh, hi, Ginger. My cat has flung my door open while I'm recording, but I just started a match, so I can't go close it. So let's hope that doesn't alter my audio. Thanks, Ginger. You're a real one. Anyways, I already made a bingo, but I ended up scrapping it because it was kind of at a weird time. And I think that I'll probably do that as a New Year's thing where... Um, other ideas I had. This is an awful camera angle. Oh, ah, 
Oh, I thought of a really funny video called Top 10 Things You Can Do Wrong in 1985. And little, little punchline spoiler for, uh, for, uh, anybody who's watched this long. The joke is that number one is play Identity 5. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, uh, it didn't work. I always try weaving. That may not be the best strategy, but it's my strategy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have that much else to say. We'll probably just finish this match and then... What? 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 <laughs> watch uh just the like update videos or whatever i still see the same couple of people oh no <laughs> yeah that was not gonna work in any situation they like me for my commentary they like my vibes thank you yeah i don't know how i'm gonna edit this actually all right too long didn't read of this entire video um, I don't know what Death Note is. I like Vaporeon, but not in a weird way. My cat exists. Playing Identity 5 was a mistake, but in a good way. And I don't know how to be a YouTuber. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!